you know, Angelo Dundee or, you know, Ray Arcel or Eddie Fudge to see, hey, we had something we could work with here if we could teach them. Let's flash forward. March 6th, 1985, the professional debut of Mike Tyson against Hector Mercedes. Bert, when's the first time you saw Mike Tyson? Well, I did not see this fight, but Bill Caton, his co-manager at the time, would be sending out film clips on DVD every eight seconds. So I plug it in, and I'm watching this, this kid with a butcher block body <laughs> just beating the bejabbers out of people in a wham-bam, thank you, ma'am fashion. So yes, I'm watching his first four or five fights, but I got him in a total DVD clip. Mm -hmm. Teddy, how much uh, was natural with Tyson? How much was he taught? Because we can see here already, his punches are crisp, short, tight. How much was natural? How you much know, was I, taught in Catskill? You know, Brian, that's a great question. Because the story I just told when I saw him the first time and he got the bloody nose, I remember, I thought back afterwards and I said, gee, two, three years went by, he never got another bloody nose. So he wasn't a natural. If he was a natural, he never would have got a bloody nose. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't have got hit with those punches. I remember all Even the people. Even Robert Redford but, bled. Yeah, but, all, but we're talking about a fighter here. And all the people would say, boy, this guy's a natural. But if he was a natural,